July 23, 2020 2020's Xbox Games Showcase has us torn between consoles as a coup d'oeil of Gran Turismo 7's worthy opponent Forza Motorsport, a look at the grand storytelling epic fable, and a proper taste of Halo Infinite's gameplay were all delivered our way in stunning style. How can Sony keep from getting swallowed up by Bill Gates' deep pockets? <laughs> Three answers, killer games, the magic of the dual sense, and a cutthroat price for the PS5 Digital. We're going to give you the down low and the nitty gritty on Sony's behemoth to make sure you spend your hard earned cash in the right place. The games. How can Sony's PS5 stand out in a room full of standouts? Is it even possible to outshine the Google Stadia, Amazon Games, Xbox Series X, and Nintendo's Wii U and Switch? In the same way we want to know how a movie is cast before we think about buying a ticket, we want to know which game titles will be released before blowing our bankroll. The most recent midsummer trailers released include Yudin Chronicle 100 Heroes, Earthlock 2, Werewolf, The Apocalypse, Earthblood, Balan Wonderland, and Planet Coaster, which will all be cross-platform. The heavy-hitting exclusives coming for Sony's Wonder Machine are Astro's Playroom, Demon Souls, Destruction All-Stars, Gran Turismo 7, Horizon Forbidden West, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, Returnal, Sackboy A Big Adventure, Spider-Man Miles Morales, and Stray. Timed exclusives, meaning they will release on other platforms at a later date, are Bug Snacks, Deathloop, Ghostwire Tokyo, Godfall, Goodbye Volcano High, Oddworld Soulstorm, and Project Athea, its working title. PS5 will also have many of its unique PS4 titles get free next-gen upgrades like Orphan of the Machine, Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1, and FIFA 21. PS5 Digital Pricing for space and money savers alike, the all-digital PS5 exists to provide a lower-cost gaming solution for PlayStation Nationers. As in all sales situations, the system's price will be the last thing to be unveiled. Historically, Sony has priced its consoles lower than its main competitor Xbox at launch, and according to a Bloomberg report, the PS5 costs $450 US dollars to manufacture, not including marketing costs. Remember that the PS4 was $399 US at launch, as was the PS4 Pro at its launch, and the 60GB PS3 was $599 US at its launch. At this time, we believe that Sony will try to undercut Microsoft by selling at a loss and making up for it in margins on necessaries and game sales, and price it at the modest sums of $549.99 for the PS5 with the Ultra HD Blu-ray drive, and $449.99 for the digital. If down the line market research shows demand is skyrocketing compared to the Series X, they may raise that price significantly. Controller Buzz the DualSense controller will revolutionize the way gaming feels, as programmers can set the R and L buttons with different haptic settings and vary their sensitivity in accordance with their games. So in theory, driving an X-Wing fighter in Star Wars Squadrons should feel different from driving a Y-Wing, which won't feel the same as cruising in a Pegasi Vaca in GTA V, which will be a different feeling from getting your right tire stuck in the mud in Spin Tire Mud Runner which will be unlike the feeling you get when the guards will be alerted to your bad intentions in Hitman 3. Once you get that larger and more rounded ergonomic PS5 controller in your hands with all that nice comfortable space between the buttons, you won't be able to put it down. Have you picked a side in the console wars yet? Were you impressed with the Xbox Games Showcase? Do you know anyone who uses the Stadia service? What game is the game changer for you? Sound off in the comments and like and subscribe for more from the gamer. To infinity and beyond, my friends.